So we're leaving 20 Wexford Club Drive. The main entrance is right down here. And we're just gonna take a, a drive through the community and go up towards the clubhouse and, and the marina. And you can ride outside of the community uh, on your bike. And it's probably about a 15 minute ride over to the beach down at Caligny if you wanted to to take a bike ride to the beach. So you start seeing the canals and waterways here. They have the sidewalks throughout the community. Golf carts are uh, definitely a mode of transportation within the community. And it, 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 it's gated and they are very strict about who comes in here, which is fabulous. Um, not only during the times that we're living in right now, but, but always. And uh, at the same time, they're very welcoming to new members and they are just very accommodating in terms of, of having new people that are looking at the community to come and spend some time in here. of the golf course now over on this side and then over here as well and they are still building homes in here um, there are a few lots available but I don't know if you'd be interested in really getting into into that but if you were we certainly could could check that out as well. So there are practice areas over here. And then on the left there are some smaller lot homes uh, that they that they built for people that initially wanted to come and uh, and not have all the upkeep of a full single family home. And then to take it that a step farther, they actually have townhomes over here along along the marsh, and they are are priced anywhere from from four hundred thousand up to uh, the ones right along the water are are well over two million. You'll see they have a great tennis center here. Whoops. It's a good thing that nobody's really driving around because I think I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> but they have a great tennis center over, over here as well as uh, their clubhouse is straight ahead where there is a, a pool which they are in the process of, of doing some adding a, onto their pool and redoing that a bit. Then you have the marina and you can just see just over here it you really can't see it very well um, the building across is where the harbor master is and then just beyond that is where the lock system is to go out to the to the uh, broad creek see how far we can get. They're doing all this construction down here and I don't think that you know, the, the street really isn't isn't open down here. 
they also they have a little croquet uh, court over here, course over here. I know croquet is uh, something I've seen people out there. I think it's a pretty big deal here. I'm going to sneak around the, the townhomes and uh, see if we can just get a, a glimpse of the water, the Broad Creek out here, so that you can get a feel for that. And it's great as we've been driving through here, and I was actually in here earlier today with someone um, looking at homes, and uh, there's a lot of activity, which is is refreshing in these times to actually see people out out doing things. So you can see the back side of the clubhouse, and then they're doing some work over off to the side with this this new pool area that, that they're building onto. This is the Harbor Master here. There is kayak storage just behind us, and then this is the lock system that takes takes us out to out to the Broad Creek. I'm just gonna walk out there so you can get a feel a feel for it. Now they do, uh, with this lock system, they do restrict the size of, of, of the boats coming in and out, but um, you, you can see, or you, hopefully you were able to see, that um, there, are, th there are some sizable boats in here. So it's not super restrictive, but it is, uh, it, they, they do, they, they don't have huge yachts coming in and out, but I don't think that was your goal anyway. So this is a, a look. It's a good time to see it with uh, with people coming in and out. The tide is on its way in. Um, it's not full tide, so you can, I don't know if you can see out to the piling out there, uh, the difference in the color, but um, we're probably about halfway right now uh, in terms of the tide. Our tides change about eight feet every day. That's why this lock system is so important to keep the, the, the uh, vessels in here protected. So I hope that helps, and I'll talk to you soon.